Hey everybody, welcome back to GIS Chops, the channel that gives you your own GIS Chops. Uh, we're going to talk about animated symbols today, and what that really means is GIFs. Not only can you express yourself in GIF images with your text messages, now you can put GIFs in your maps, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the easiest way to change your symbology is really just click the symbol in your contents pane, and that brings the symbology pane up with that symbol ready to be edited. To get animated symbols, you're going to want to go to the Gallery tab and then type in Animated to find those that, that are animated. And you see there's 3D and then these are 2D. You can change it to like a sun that has rays spinning around it, uh, an arrow bouncing, which is kind of cool. Which was really cool. There's a, where is it, a map pin that bounces. They also have this warning sign that pulses, stormy clouds with rain, ooh, lightning too. But who are we kidding? We really want GIFs that we download from the internet and put them on maps. I mean, that's what I want to do. To do that, you come to the properties and then the layers tab. It's set as a picture marker, but we want to designate our own file and I've downloaded Kip from Napoleon Dynamite and I hit apply and all of my symbols turn into Kips. Let's make him bigger. So that's how you get animated symbols on your map and you can even specify your own file but it added this animation uh, group here on this on the symbology pane so with all these options, you can change how the animation works. Like it's defaulted to loop, you could change it to oscillate. So that, I don't know if you can see, but now the it goes back and forth instead of up and down. So the raindrops go down, then up, then down, then up. So that's oscillating. Uh, loop is the default. And if you check this allow symbol property connections, like I'll uncheck it and then check it again, you get these that allow you to put expressions using fields from the layer. So I'll change this to manual offset and then we'll do uh, the object ID divided by 6,000. So that's going to change the the offset. So now that, and you can't really see that it changed it much, but if we up the the speed, now you can see they're firing at different times. The clouds, the lightning fires at different times. Or we can change that to be uh, object ID and look there's VB script as well as now we'll apply so some are fast some are slow you can really really change the way your animation works by using fields in your data and these different types. There's a delay you can add. Like if you add four seconds to the delay, they'll sit there for four seconds and then the animation will start again. So there you have animated symbols in ArcGIS Pro, another new feature with ArcGIS Pro 2.9. If you enjoyed this video, give that like button a quick chop for me. And comment below with what your favorite GIF is that you send your friends all the time in your texts. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Ready to be edited. That's hard to say.